Inside this stunning university campus, there is a mysterious library, and today we are going to check it out. But before we start, I want to challenge you with three hints. See if you can guess which school it is. One, it's one of the Ivy League universities, and its official colors are orange and black. Two, it is often acknowledged as the most affordable Ivy, thanks to its generous financial aids. And last hint, its original name was College of New Jersey, until officially renamed in 1896. Now, do you know which school it is? Hello, my friends. This is Kathy, the library hunter. Today, we are visiting the famous Firestone Library at Princeton University. Princeton campus has a beautiful mix of architectural styles that reflect its long history. I'll put a brief campus walk later in this video, but first things first, it's time for the library. Harvey S. Firestone Memorial Library is a truly remarkable landmark on the campus. Firestone Library opened in 1948 as the first large American university library built after World War II. The library exterior was designed to align with the collegiate Gothic revival of the campus around 1946. Although the building is stone clad, there are modern elements such as huge square and rectangular windows girded in steel, letting in natural light and nice views of the campus. Access to main areas of Firestone requires a valid Princeton University ID. Or, if you are researchers or scholars from other institutions, you may check on their website to see if you are eligible to get a guest badge or borrowing privileges. And if not, then lucky you, hop on this trip with me. Firestone contains many study spaces, most prominently the trustee reading room, located just to the left of the main lobby. It is an open study space bounded on one side by glass panels, which contain the names of all present and past university trustees and presidents. As I walked around the reading room, I'm amazed by the natural light cascading into open spaces where glass walls reflected students studying in small groups, tucked away in favorite hideaway spots, or sprawled on comfortable couches. Founded in 1746, Princeton University is one of the oldest educational institutions in the United States, steeped in a rich history that spans centuries. From U.S. presidents and Nobel laureates to groundbreaking researchers and influential policymakers, Princeton boasts an impressive list of alumni who have made significant contributions to society. But what makes Princeton unique in the Ivy? Compared with other Ivy League schools like Harvard, Yale, Columbia, or UPenn, Princeton is the most undergraduate focused, which explains why it has no business school and fewer graduate programs than other Ivies. This means that the entire faculty is dedicated to teaching undergraduates, and the curriculum is designed to give students a broad and rigorous education in liberal arts and sciences. The library currently has more than 70 miles of bookshelves, making Firestone one of the largest OpenStack libraries in existence. Though not the largest university library in the world, the library has more books per enrolled student than that of any other university in the United States. Check out these books written by Princeton faculty and emeritus faculty. Personally, I love reading books written by teachers because they typically have proven abilities to explain complicated ideas into something simple but concise with graphical illustrations that require no prior knowledge to understand the methods used. For example, this book series Worlds Together, Worlds Apart provides one global story frames in each chapter, making thousands of years of history more friendly to introductory level readers. And it was Robert Tignier, its general editor emeritus, who introduced Princeton's first course in world history over 30 years ago. Now Worlds Together is recognized as global history's most effective teaching tool.
The Tiger Tea Room is the one of the few places in the library where patrons can freely converse. Fun fact, if you'd like to try their wonderful tea service here, you will need to enter a weekly lottery. Yes, it is just that popular. The Tiger Tea Room is a favorite stop for Princetonians looking for a place to study or refuel with some calories. But on top of that, it is also now a gallery for selections from the digital library. The idea was to provide a physical space inside the library where the Princeton community could engage with the library's digital collections. At the time of my visit, this cafe gallery was exhibiting the 53 stations of Tokaido Road. Just like the fabulous Route 66 in the United States, Japan's Tokaido Road was a 300 mile long coastal thoroughfare with 53 legendary rest stops. Isn't it amazing that we can enjoy the excitement of traveling the Tokaido while sipping some tea at Princeton? In 2010, Princeton started a renovation project to preserve and enhance the architectural fabric of Firestone Library. Many of the iconic elements of the original library design have been reused and repurposed. For example, the drawer faces of the analog card catalog is now retired and became wall art that greets visitors off the main lobby. Firestone Library functions as the main library on campus and assumes primary responsibility for the humanities and social sciences, home to special collections. It also houses treasures such as the autographed manuscript of F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby and the papers of Nobel laureates Toni Morrison and Mario Vargas Llosa. The Firestone building itself does not appear very large from the outside because most of its books are stored in three partially underground levels that extend beyond the footprint of the main building. Deep beneath the library lies the B floor, a hidden gem that is not open to the public. Firestone has four smaller above ground floors. This underground storage area houses a vast collection of books and documents, all meticulously preserved in carefully controlled environmental conditions. Look at these vintage closets. Actually, that's some of the original carols. These cherished heavyweight metal study carols are now repurposed as study offices about the size of a large closet. And now we are reminded again, Princeton has a strong tiger spirit. This lively statue of three Bengal tigers really captures the essence of these powerful creatures in motion. It conveys a sense of energy and ambition just like the Princeton spirit. I like the intricate details, like the texture of their fur and the tension in their muscles.
From the B-Level Bridge, we can enjoy a view of the light-filled rare books and special collections reading room on the sea level. This bright and stunning atrium is a 21 foot wide by 140 foot long glazed reading space, serving as both a study space and rare books and special collections reading room. If I were a student here, I'd definitely enjoy some good reads here with the soaring glass ceiling and the circular chandeliers. Look at this wall of wisdom from Toni Morrison, a Nobel Prize winner in 1993. I love this quote about humans' mind. Morrison was the chair in the humanities at Princeton from 1989 until her retirement in 2006. This wall is right next to the Center for Digital Humanities. Apparently, Princeton highly appreciate Toni's contribution to the department. The third floor, William Elfers, 41 reading room, is just one of many transformed spaces in the Firestone Library. As a graduate of the Princeton class of 1941, Elfers donated more than 75 rare books and manuscripts by and about renowned writer Ralph Waldo Emerson to the library's special collections. Hanging on the wall is a new tapestry commissioned from California artist John Nava incorporating images of objects from Firestone's rare books and special collections. Now let's return the visitor badge and I'll take you on a short walk in the Princeton campus. As you might have noticed, Collegiate Gothic is predominant on the Princeton campus, particularly in its older buildings. You can easily spot them by their pointed arches, vaulted ceilings, and decorative stone carvings. At Princeton, for example, the iconic Blair Arch, Holder Hall, and the chapel. Some other buildings on campus, such as Nassau Hall, are classical revival architecture. This style is characterized by its use of classical elements inspired by Greek and Roman architecture, such as columns, pediments, and symmetrical facades.
In my next video, I will share some other interesting book places inside or around Princeton. And don't you worry, these places are always open to the public. So just subscribe now, hop in, and enjoy more and more wonderful book adventures with me, The Library Hunter. See you in the next library. Bye.